Bonjour from the Puy Saint Antoine. This is the biggest flea market in the world. It is amazing and vast, and you'll need definitely the whole weekend um, to sift through everything. Um, a lot of people have asked me since I've come here to Paris, um, where should I shop? Um, and I tell them the Puce is one of my favorite places because you find so many unique things. Uh, designers, Yves Saint Laurent, Dior, Hermes, all those big brands, they come here to look at vintage things and then recreate them. One of them is a French uh, chore jacket, which I'm, I have on here. And it's really hard to tell people exactly which ones are my favorite vendors here because there are so many and a lot of them don't have names like her here. He is legit OG and has the best, most unique things. Um, and he's at stall 28. I asked him, um, what's the name of your shop? And he's like, there is no name to stall 28, but he has a variety of the French work right here, as you can see. My favorites, here's a twan tip, are the different color ones, like the green or the grays, which are more unique. And I have Irv here. I wanted to ask a couple questions, Irv. Can I pull up a chair? We oui, Lizzie. Oui, Lizzie. Okay, so Irv, this is one of my favorite shops because you have the coolest things here. So tell me, how long have you been here for? Uh, I came here in uh, 1991 for a job student and I never leave uh, the place. Uh, and you came from where? I'm from uh, Paris. Yes, but you said you came as a student. You, no, no, I was looking for a job. Okay. I was a student, I was looking for a job and I came here to uh, okay. oh. have a job. So were you working here for somebody? Yes, I was working at the Marit for a vintage clothes uh, uh, shop okay. during uh, two years, three years. And one time I made a fair by my own. Okay. And when I saw how much I was winning <laughs> on my own and how much I was paid, I stopped working for the, these uh, people okay. and I uh, go on my own. Uh, and so how many years have you been doing this for? Uh, since 1993. Since 1993, okay. Um, you have some of the coolest styles here. Um, can you tell me, where did you get your style from? There is, no, there is no style. It's your uh, your feeling. You know a little bit what people want. You know what you like. But uh, people don't want uh, what you like. Uh, they want uh, it's a mix of uh, feeling and uh, and uh, marketing. <laughs> well, not even marketing. I think for me the the most amazing thing about clothes is like when I put this on. I just like, my energy is up and I just feel better. And when I, I have friends visiting from England and yesterday one of them got this scarf and it wasn't even that expensive. It was like five euros and she just felt super excited and happy. So there's something about the, the, the own style that really is a feeling, which is different than fashion, no, right? The fashion, you, you wear uh, what you want. If you feel good in it, uh, there is no... Uh... Well, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's all that no, matters. No matters if you feel good inside your stuff, you will be, you will be uh, shining. Uh, yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> only you have to feel good in your stuff. Yeah. No matter what it is, the fashion and then yeah. But let me ask you, Irv, so there's so many people who try to fit in and they, like me, I was made fun of for my style when I was right. a kid, so I hit it. So how do you feel good about it and then don't care? about what people think. What do you get to, how do you wear confidence? No, it's a question of uh, education and uh, uh, culture and uh, curiosity. Uh, some people are not curious, not cultured, uh, not, uh, they've got nothing. They see the picture in the magazine, they mm -hmm. want the picture of the magazine. Yes, and Instagram, and, you see uh, what's on many Instagram. Many people uh, don't care. Uh, yeah. Because maybe this uh, jacket remember your grandfather, or yes. it remember you uh, a period of your, your life, or it's maybe the color or remember you or something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for me, the most important thing for me now as an adult is, you know what, I feel good in it and I don't care, but that's because of the wisdom I'm older. But when because you're a little... Some, someone curious. You're interesting in many stuff, many things. Not only fashion, 
maybe you're interested in cinema, literature, uh, photo, other stuff. Uh, mm. It's important to don't have uh, the... That, it's called tunnel vision in America, well, right? Yes. And I think that's really important because if if your soul, if you like to wear blue or you like to wear pink or you like to wear lots of jewelry like me, then um, do it to express yourself because your expression of yourself is your true self, your expression oui, of your style. It is what you like. Merci, monsieur. Oh, the money's rolling in, see? Holler. <laughs> well, um, any sort of tips that you have for people shopping here at the Pousse? It's so big. Besides, go to stall 28. <laughs> Uh, any any tips you have for people shopping here? It's so big. What tips? Um, uh, any um, sort of secrets? Ah, no, there is nothing. You came here, here, you're looking for nothing. Don't look for nothing. Just uh, keep your eyes open. And your uh, if your brain is busy, you want to find nothing. If you're free, you think about nothing. Your eyes going to spot on uh, good stuff. And uh, your eyes going to choose for you. Uh, and but that, if you're yeah. looking, I'm looking, this jacket, this color, you will find nothing. And there's some sort of free flow that's amazing about style, right? It's like the free flowing. My book is called Glimmer. And glimmer is when you feel an awe inspiring sensation, whether you see, you know, clouds or rainbows, or you see that perfect vintage piece really? where you're like, ah, it's a feeling. It goes back to the feeling, right? We oui, everything is a question of a feeling. Yes. So, merci. Bah, je vous en prie. Yeah. <laughs> Stall 28. So, I'm going to take you on a quick tour inside here. There is you, Julie, here chilling. And he has just amazing things that are very well priced. Um, there is a mixture of like high end and low end here, but he has just amazing things. He has some household wares and one of, a lot of military wear. But one of the things that I wish that I had gotten was he had this very rare Swedish. A military jacket and I told them I'm gonna go to the ATM and come back. Ended up meeting some people at the Pews because you always meet people. Don't be surprised if you meet people and then end up going out to lunch with them. <sighs> and I came back and he was closed and it was gone. But I realized after doing some research about it and doing a reverse Google search that he, he said, or said it was very rare. And Pharrell, uh, who's in charge of the Louis Vuitton um, uh, latest fashions there, actually bought one and it was the same one and it was a lot more than here so there are a lot of amazing secrets here at the piece and i just can't wait to share more glimmers with y'all all right merci thanks for watching <laughs>